Hello everyone, Jeff here for Respawn Studios with a gameplay commentary for Halo 5 Guardians, uh, something I haven't done for a couple months, so uh, to do something a little bit different than my uh, achievement guides or playthroughs, I decided to throw up what uh, we were doing today. So this was Double Team, um, every month, month and a half when they reset the seasons, uh, Pyre, the founder of Respawn, and I, Jeff, um, we do our 10 placement matches. So this is, I think, the third placement match we had for this season. Uh, we'd won the first one on Coliseum. I think the second one was on Haven. And now we are on... <sighs> I always forget the name of this map. <laughs> but um, they recently refreshed Double Team. So they changed up um, weapon spawns. So this map, instead of having Overshield bottom middle and Plasma Caster right where Pyre is right now, um, they have Railgun there. And also, obviously, this is from Pyrotech's point of view. You see he forgot to hit X to take his name off in theater mode when he recorded this. There he is teabagging me, probably because he knows I was going to say that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so they recently refreshed. Um, I like a lot of the changes, like on Coliseum, they took out Rockets. I think it was a little overkill to have Rockets and Sniper in double team. So now it's um, an overshield and sniper. So we get off to a pretty good start here. We build a four, five, and then I think a six kill lead. Um, like we're up 12, seven, I think 16 to 10, but then the match gets very close and intense. Uh, I do pretty bad, <laughs> which seemed to be like the um, common flavor of the close matches we had. We ultimately went seven and three in our 10 placement matches. The um, first loss was to these guys in the very next game. We lost by one kill. It was awful. We should have easily won, but when I die or when I get frustrated as I was in that game, I make some really stupid pushes, and so we lost by one. I was so upset. <laughs> That's my big weakness as a player. That's why this game isn't from my point of view. I went 6-12 and 12 with like 8 assists or something. Um, when I get mad, I make like stupid pushes. I rush where I just died or I'm uh, desperate to like finish off a kill. So I push a guy when he was retreating to his teammate and get double team, something like that. So uh, we're going to look at the more consistent point of view for this game, Pyre. It's using the carbine. Now just picked up railgun as it spawned. I was trying to get down for overshield, but unfortunately I got killed. So you see we're tied here. Uh, Pyre connects with a railgun on overshield, so the overshield's gone, but we'll still have some shield, regular shield. But he's going to pick up uh, two kills here. One on that guy, and then one on this guy with railgun. Okay, it's this next guy. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, Pyre's going to go on a killing frenzy here, a 10 kill spree is always very good to do in double team where the matches are only to 25 kills having 10 in a row is a huge deal all right so um we kind of started building this lead because we were sticking together we had good communication which i think is probably our best trait as double team partners pyre and i um we always talk about where people are going what we're doing where one shot person is where we're spawning things like that um but we let them start to come back into the game by um, going away from that. Our communication was largely still good, but we started to make solo pushes like there I pushed on my own or um, we gave them top mid control. So we had to fight from a disadvantage where they were up top and um, could have come at us from a few different angles. So here's Pyre crouch walking to get drop on a guy who <laughs> was just obsessed with going to railgun spawn almost for this whole match. And another uh, good thing Pyre does here in this match is switch to AR or start with AR to quickly get people's shields down or to finish a kill. Uh, it's kind of one of my other weaknesses. I like to stick with BR or stick with pistol when I could, um, like if I'm low on ammo, switch to another weapon to finish a kill. I just, no, nah, I'm going to finish with one thing <laughs> or go for a melee as opposed to just backing up, making sure I'm safe and uh, I guess that's one of my big annoyances with Halo 5 are melee trades. Like, um, I feel like it's completely unfair. Like, you can hit someone with 
maybe 10 to 12 AR bullets and melee them and they don't die, but they hit you with like one AR bullet and melee you. Like you melee each other at the same time at that point where they had hit you with fewer bullets, but you die or um, yeah, you die, but they don't. So it's just a completely unfair trade and it makes no sense. All right, so here we're up 17 to 12, but this is when things start to go hectic. And this is another one of my big gripes with double team spawns. Um, you spawn way too often, either completely diagonal across from um, your partner, or you spawn like in a battle already being shot or being hit by a grenade because the battle was going on and you just happened to spawn into it. And that is also very unfair. All right, so you see it's uh, getting really close now. We're only up three kills, 18 to 15. I think we're actually going to have it end up being tied around the 19 kill mark. Also, the um, Halo World Championships just ended today. Optic swept the final. And they won the uh, first Halo 5 World Championship last year pretty easily. It's the same roster. Though they were under the organization CLG last year for Worlds, I believe. Optic was not um, their sponsor yet. They were actually sponsoring a team that was like the 8th place team last season. I'm huge into esports and Halo is what got me into esports. I uh, started getting like capturing device and making videos just because of Halo. I wanted to make my own montages and gameplays and stuff. So... I have Halo to thank for a lot of my, um, I don't want to call it a career, but I guess it is with YouTube because I'm also a teacher for anyone that knows, uh, watches my other videos. All right, so you see uh, we were up 17 to 12, like 18 to 13, and we were now just down one. So this is now the really intense end of the match. Probably missed a couple shots there. He probably didn't mean to challenge that guy. That guy seemed to have spawned bottom of that base and just had that kind of advantageous spawn in that instance. But I was able to get overshield here, which is nice. Guy tries to ground pound, does almost nothing to me because <laughs> overshield was still uh, coming up. Pyre keeps the guy weak, top middle. He got the hit marker, 21-21. So I try and push him because I still had some overshield. There, Pyre missed a couple shots, which happens, fine. Guy choked his railgun shot though there. I was able to pick up a kill, so we're tied at 22. I <laughs> choked with the... I'm pretty sure that was the final railgun shot. You see we're tied here. Nice. Pyre's able to pick up a perfect kill. And the other guy's over there. He seems to have dropped. Nope. <laughs> he came through the window behind and picks off Pyre. So... Now, here is the pretty cool little end to the match. We're tied at 23. Uh, Pyre's going to spawn here, get partially hit by a grenade. I'm backing up because I'm weak and waiting for Pyre to catch up. But we're both going to pick up a kill at the exact same time and win 25 to 23. All right, so there's just a very little gameplay commentary. I know nothing special, but um, I love Halo. I love uh, <laughs> putting videos up on our YouTube. So thank you if you made it this far. This is Jeff from Respawn Studios, and I'll be back with more videos soon.